Hey, it's Rick here, and I want to know if you guys have the lightning cable for the iPhone 5 or for your new fifth generation iPod Touch. Are you finding it difficult to remove the USB portion of that cable from whatever USB device you're plugging it into? If you are, leave a comment down below. I am going to show you in this video the workaround, how you can unplug that cable safely without doing damage to the cable or your device. This is a widespread issue that I've found online with a lot of people. I have gotten the cable stuck in my non-Apple devices. Some of them work, but uh, for example, one of my PCs it gets stuck in, my vehicle it gets stuck in, and thankfully I didn't do any damage. But I did some searching and I found the solution or the workaround. So let me pull the phone out of frame. And the first thing I want to show you is what I think is causing this. Here is the lightning cable right here. And I want you to take a look at the underside. Do you see those two holes and how deep it is? Well, I think that when you plug this into certain USB devices, it's latching into those holes and not letting go. Now here is the 30 pin dock connector, uh, old cable, and look at how shallow those two holes are. That, I believe, is what the problem is. And here is the workaround until Apple either addresses this or something else comes about. I've got the iPad uh, plug-in-the-wall charger, and here is the new lightning cable with USB on one end. Of course, this is going to work, it, no problem. But for demonstration's sake, if you plug this in and it gets stuck, you're going to want to get something thin. And I found that these work really well. What this is, is from a dress shirt, it keeps your collar straight. You're going to want to wedge this directly into that one area that I showed you, the shallow end. And you can try both ends if you're not sure which end it is. And then basically give it a pull. And when you do that, the cable will come right out. I have tested this on the devices that my cable has been stuck in, and it works every single time. Of course, you can buy a USB extender, plug it on on this end, and probably get around it that way as well, but this is the cheaper way to go about it. It doesn't cost you really anything. So hopefully Apple fixes it soon, but again, if you guys are running into this, leave a comment below because I really want to see how widespread this is. Hopefully it helps you guys out, and we'll talk to you next time.